Yo, Shamanko everyone. So today is the second lesson uh, on the book, The Millionaire's Mind. Today we're going to be talking about the inner world creating our outer world. And why is this important? <clears throat> because a lot of the beliefs that you, uh, you're you holding, a lot of the things that are at, uh, create your subconscious blueprint for 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 the world and how you interact with money uh, it creates a lot of the those things create a lot of the outcomes that you are experiencing nowadays so it's very important to get to know what's inside so that you can affect the outside uh, so these are the notes that i took from the book <clears throat> so i think the first thing is your income can grow to the extent that you do uh, this is if you don't exactly what <clears throat> what you need to hear because um yeah if you've been poor all your life if you always been spending money even if you made a lot of money you always end up in the same situation where you're always broke at the end of the month you know this shows you how your mindset create the reality that you're living in because if you had a better mindset you would probably be able to keep that money or, um, or yeah, manage it in a more effective way. Uh, so you, second thing is that you can come into big money when you're not ready for it. Internally, you'll probably end up losing it. Uh, yeah, so this is what happens to a lot of like lottery, lottery winners. They come into a lot of money and they just completely lose it in the next few years. And they're back to where they started. Because what happens is they start, you know, they're like, oh my God, I have so much money. You don't know, like now I can spend on anything I want. So they start to give out the money uh, to family members and people that they know. Uh, but, hold on, let me fix this. Yeah, but when in reality, all they're doing is just reaffirming uh, the blueprint that they live by. And, you know, they're going to spend that money until they get to the point where they started uh, so yeah, just make sure that you're ready for it, you know, because if you're starting a business or something like that and your mindsets not, are not ready, uh, then you're going to lose big time or you're going to get in trouble. Uh, so this is what Tihar Record talks about. And I really believe this because I remember even my own experiences. I had really good jobs where I was making a lot of money, but I was just spending more when I had more and I ended up in the same situation. Uh, so research shows that 8% of individuals won't achieve the financial independence that they desire. Yes, and that's why there is like the 1% and then the, most of the population is fucking broke. And yeah, working a daytime job and they're not really doing what they want. But now there is a bigger, big movement, I guess, of like digital nomads. So a lot of people are getting into freelancing and doing kind of their own thing. And this is cool because... You know it's transforming things but i still think that even freelancers you know like myself like i don't really work that much i just work enough so that i can have comfort and so that i can have enough money to survive um but I, even if you're a freelancer you know you still can have these really bad money management habits so just yeah remember to um to to yeah to change the inside before you change the outside because you're still gonna be living in the same ways that you did before if you haven't changed anything on the inside and this is kind of like a picture of a tree you know and you got the roots and then you got the trunk and then you got the bushes and you got the fruits so basically what T. Harv Ecker says is that the roots is like the mindset it's like the blueprint it's the programming that you have and then that kind of grows uh, your outer world and your outer world can be like yummy delicious fruits or it can be spoiled fruits uh, or you know fruits that aren't ripened uh, so you kind of get the metaphor you know there's a lot of like quotes about this where you have to the compares like the human being to a tree because you know we don't see the roots but obviously they're there it, and the roots are a subconscious way of being or subconscious way of thinking 
Uh, it's the programming that we've been fed. It's the conditioning that we had. And it's the mindset that we've been taught, you know, and it's the things that we've seen before we reached consciousness and all of that stuff, it's stored in the roots. So if you want to bear a beautiful tree with beautiful fruits, then you got to change their roots. <laughs> All right, cool. So next one is when we work on inner world, life works smoothly. When we don't, life gets rough. Yeah, so back to the point, you know, change the inner world, change what's inside, and you will see the reflection of that on the outside. Um, cause, because our world is, you know, cause and effect. Or I said result here, I don't know why I wrote that. But cause and effect. So the cause, I guess, is the mindset and the effect is what happens outside in the world. Uh, so I guess an example of this is like, yeah, like I was saying, you know, I, I got a good job. I was working as kind of like a manager for a photography company at a restaurant. We were taking pictures of the people that ate there and then you sell the pictures. And I started to make really good money. Uh, but the thing that happened when I started to make really good money, and I wasn't like wealthy or anything, I was just making more than I ever made. <clears throat> I was making a more than a few thousand maybe a month from this job because uh, I was managing people so I was getting paid a little bit extra and once I started to make that money what happened is like maybe a few weeks in to a month in I started just to buy myself things that I didn't need I bought myself like really nice shoes that you know I didn't really need they just look nice so I was like yeah I'm gonna spend that money because I have it now and it's kind of like this mindset that I have from childhood where it's like you know we were always kind of broke <clears throat> or poor and sometimes we didn't have food so whenever we had some money like that was the time to spend it because we didn't know if we were gonna have money or if we were gonna have food so that's an example from my life so yeah the mindset definitely affect you all the way all the way through you know even if you're making more money so just watch out for that because maybe you're gonna start some business and you're gonna come in contact with a lot of money and again if you don't have these mindsets set like in the right way then it's gonna it can really damage you and put you in a bad place uh, so that's basically it for today's track and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow